everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. Welcome to our event today, how to create labels on a PC. Um, the other day we did one with the Mac version, and this time we are going to do one on a PC using Microsoft Word. I will tell you I have a pretty old version of Microsoft Word, I believe it's 2003. Um, only because I am a Mac user, so I rarely use this computer at all, but I still wanted to show some of you who have PCs at school, which I do as well, um, or at home, how to do it on a PC. It's pretty much the same thing. It just looks a little different in a couple different places, and depending on which version you have of Microsoft Word, it may also look different on that one as well, but, but just a little bit. You should be able to find your way around. All right, so we went ahead and opened up Microsoft Word just to a blank document. Document one, it's all set here. We're gonna go to the same place we did last time. We go to tools, and we're gonna go right down here to letters and mailings. We're gonna go into envelopes and labels. Okay, and here is our labels tab. When it opens, it'll probably be under the envelopes tab. Just click on it to get to the labels tab. Now we've got a few different choices here. Print, new document, cancel, options, e-postage properties. We are gonna want a full page of the same label. Now this here is what we want to use. If I want to change that, I would go right in here. And once again, here are all of my different product numbers and different choices that I have for my um, different labels. So you certainly can pick whichever one that you would like to pick, whichever size that you want to go with. I am going to go with 516Os this time. I can get up here to it. All right. 516Os, and I'm going to click OK. Now all that's going to do is it's going to make sure that down here it's going to be the type of label you want. We are not finished yet. I do not type anything in here at all. And we're going to go to New Document. Click on that and check it out. Here's a whole page of our labels, all 30 of our labels. I like to use this sheet at the beginning of the school year for each individual student and make a whole page of just their name. Now you might not want to do that until a week, week and a half into school because you, as you well, I'm sure know, you're going to have students moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out. So you're going to constantly have to be making um, sheets of labels and they're not cheap. So it's always not a whole lot of fun whenever you have wasted an entire sheet of labels on one student that has since moved. You'll have it occasionally in the middle of the year, but um, not so much at the as after the first couple weeks. Okay, so let's format it. I'm in my first grid here. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna bold it. And I've got lots of lots of different fonts here. I like to use, let me see if I can find it. Nope, I'm not seeing the one that I normally use. Let's just go with, well, this looks like a fun one. Okay, and we're going to go with, okay, so if we wanted to do that, we can. Um, if you want to as well, you're welcome to format it even more. If you want to bold it, um, you can certainly add clip art as well. You can drop it in there same as you normally would. I don't know if I even have any clip art to even be able to drop anything fun in there actually. Let's see. Let's do some word art. All right. Oh, this looks like fun. Okay, so let's do word art. You could also do this with your students' names. Okay. I'm going to type his name in there. And let's see. Oh, that one's kind of fancy. I click OK. Let's get rid of the old stuff. 
and there's his new one as well. Obviously that's not exactly perfect and we would certainly want to play around with it a little bit. Okay, I was going to change it up there just a little bit. But you can certainly um, play with it as much as you want, change the names on it, um, change the font. I would make a whole page of this if I were you. Then of course you're going to want to save it. Go ahead and save. Um, we're going to save it Harold Preston Labels so we know whose it is. Save it there. That way if you need to go back in and change it or you could even save it as um, small name classroom labels or however you want to do it so that way after you've created a whole sheet and printed it off you can go right to the next student and do a whole nother one for that student in the same font, different font, however that you want to do it. So that is how we create labels in Microsoft Word, the PC version. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. I'm so happy that you were here to join us. Please join us again for more videos. You can always find all of my videos at my YouTube channel if you go to www.youtube.com forward slash charity L Preston with no spaces in between. You can find all of my videos or just by clicking on the red bar right down here at the bottom as well. Um, click on that bar and that will take you to a subscribe link which then you can get all of my videos. There are well over 50 videos at this point and I anticipate adding more weekly. And you can also of course find more and more resources at our Facebook fan page the Organized Classroom blog or at our website www.theorganizedclassroomblog.com. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much and we'll see you later. Bye.